so let me ask you, man. So who is Baby Byron? Why the name? I, I, that's been something I've been trying to figure out. Who came up with the name for rapper Baby Byron? So, you know, it's funny, you know, like a lot of people got a nickname that somebody else gave them, you know, it's, um, it's pretty much on that type of general thing. I didn't name myself that. Um, it was given to me by a news outlet, a news outlet somewhere in the nineties gave me that name. Yeah. Mm. So you just kind of rolled with it because I, because I know, especially with your story, um, you've been often labeled as the poster child for opioid addiction in America. And right. you've also made a lot of guest appearances on, you know, CNN, the Montel Williams show. So for all the listeners who don't know who baby Byron is and your life story, could you explain that to the viewers at home? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll say who I was growing up because it's way more interesting than who I am now. I just want to say that for the record. Um, but yeah, uh, my name is Baby Byron. I was born July 15th, 1992, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, in the era of the crack epidemic. And if anybody that's watching this or anybody that will come across this that is familiar with the crack epidemic or the opioid uh, epidemic, it really hit the African American community <clears throat> really hard. <clears throat> Probably harder than, than, any, than anywhere else, you know what I mean? Especially in the. Uh, 80s and stuff like that. How old were you when your mom lost her rights? Uh, officially, my mom's rights was terminated when I was like, uh, like four, or yeah, like like three or four, or something like that. Maybe or something along those lines. Because the custody battle for oh yeah, and I'm getting ahead of myself again. I mean, let me backtrack once again back to the significance of what makes what separates me from my cousins, you know, not just of my, you know, my brothers, my nephews, my homeboys, my neighbors, what separates me from a lot of people is um, not that I was a crack baby, that's actually what makes us more common. What makes me different is the, the proceeding that I ended up following and that was the interracial custody battle that uh, was over my custody for my biological mother who's obviously African American and my uh, foster family who was Caucasian. So them being Caucasian is actually the reason why um, I became Baby Byron because in the media, um, I was just like a, I was just like a, the in-between child for everybody. Like, you know, white, not on no, not even on the racism thing. It was more so like everybody, in, as far as I'm concerned, you know, that was in part of, of the, the case and stuff like that was all trying to get the the best benefit for me as best as I seen it. You know what I'm saying? So some people mm -hmm. from the outside made it more racially racially based, but I understand that because understand this is 92. This isn't 2000 and, you know what I mean? 